All right, uh, round four, the Penny Dreadful Red Green Energy deck. Um, I'm in eighth place, so I need to kind of win this to be in the top eight. I roll one, it's good. Start. I don't know when my opponent's playing. I'll keep this hand. If I draw a third land, this would be pretty great. Otherwise, I have a two drop. Another mono red. My hand's good if I draw a third land. It's mono red here. I have a removal spell, a bunch of counter spells, and a 4 4. Two one value, value card. Ooh, maybe not. Not a red. Or a control deck, I guess? No third land. That's not good. <laughs> not good. Looks like Jess got control, I guess. I haven't played this one yet. A little late to the party, but it's okay. We we forgive you. At least you showed up. Single pay would be pretty bad here. Or even something like an Imaloving Glare or something like that. I'm not sure what kind of like two drop um interaction they have. That beats a four four. Nicely. Okay. I'll just let it go. Um, I guess that deals with it. <laughs> I don't have any way to like getting uh to fall off. I'm gonna hold off on playing the Gore Clan so I can hold up like a Ranger's Guile. But this probably opens up me opens me up to getting a fact fiction. Okay. Cool. Four leaders helix. Oh. Um, I assume they have a wrath in their hand. No wave yet. That's good. The parallax way, rather. Party wants to just blood rush onto this thing. But I think we'll just keep one threat on the field. I don't want to run into a wrath. I don't have any way to like counter wraths other than like haste creatures. Things like that. We'll start searing spirits to the dome soon, too. Interesting. We'll run this guy out here. Anyway, he kind of has to answer to this. I better like ask the questions and wait for the answers. Don't know why I didn't leave it red untapped. So now it's, it's a good time to wrap.
Sure. I kind of goofed. I, I I don't know why I tapped two red there. I could have end a turn like Searing Speared. Um, that being said, I will just play this Brawler. Brawler kind of gets beat up by a Burst Lightning, though. But I do have the Ranger's Guile. Radiant Flames. Uh, well, that beats that beats Ranger's Guile for sure. He should be a three. Just totally goofed. Long Tusk Guy was pretty good. Again, I'm just tapping my mana so badly here. Long Tusk Guy's a big dude. Probably wants to just pump it right now. Yeah, well, they only have two mana taps. I'll just get two. This way, if they try to tap out for like a Warlord's Helix or something like that, or this too. Okay, so they have to have, they may have to basically wrap or, or die to this. Fine. I am fine with this. So now if I draw a haste creature, it's pretty good. So the Helion, Helion go. Uh, Right on the forward. Get some more energy. Just kind of show them that I'm kind of done doing things for today. And <laughs> draw a Searing Spear. Just let me draw a Searing Spear or something. And he doesn't have another Helix. Can you beat a 4 4, sir? I guess I could tr cruise here. Cruise, try to find like a Warlord's Helix. Pretty good. I forgot Raging Flames is still legal. Can you beat a 4-4? I hope they can beat a 4-4. Doesn't say very much about their deck, they can't beat a 4-4. I've countered several spells though. Ooh, okay. Get some of the Seeing Spear range. All right. <laughs> I had this, there was like this pause where I was like, something going to happen? And nothing happened. <laughs> it's like nothing actually happened. Okay. Um, I like Scab Clans. I like Withstand Death against uh, Wrath Effects. These, uh, this matchup is pretty straightforward. I actually don't mind Rampage. Uh, I like Searing Spirits going to the face. I think it might be better though. I could. Oh, I, I want to play naturalizes against like any like um, parallax waves. Better than just having searing spears in my deck randomly. The rampages are a little worse, but I do have a lot of creatures. Try that. They they enable the quick kills. They're much better on the play. But the spears just like are very like they're very low use. I'm gonna mulligan this. I can get a better hand than this. Yes, this is this is fine.
Usually I lead off with like Long Tusk Cub in this situation, but I might lead off with Sage. Um, what the bottom of this? I have enough lands right now. But usually I go Long Tusk Cub into this to just try to uh, get more damage output, but I think I'll lead with the Sage. You just get a lot of value out of the seed. Be a whack. Hey, double scab clan. Got a lot of hasty dudes. Good game trail. Um, oh. I'm gonna jam a Berserker. I have two. He counters this, you know, so be it. Kills it, so be it. I have another one anyway. I know that put pressure now, later. Okay. Okay, I guess he's got our Radiant Flames. Which will take another two for it, which is fine. I, I'm fully down. Takes another two, it's fine. I get another Scab Clan here. That was a Clutch Mountain draw, by the way. <laughs> Third Scab Clan. Right. He kind of has a Rathus, don't you think? I guess. Oh, I guess Isolation Field does prevent the damage. But he does. He still takes two. That's kind of nifty. I'll just jam more Scab Clans. Resolve, okay. Two cards left, though. I feel pretty good about my uh, my board state here. When, if I draw a naturalize, this is going to be pretty good. Scry. Kept it on top. Let's jam a Helion. Jam, jam, jam. That's all I gotta do here. <laughs> First Lightning Kicker, okay. I'm trying to use two energy right now, just to give it to a 3-3. Three, three. I need to do a 4 4 if I need to for Radiant Flames, if I need to. Another Isolation, sure.
Okay, just gonna jam my threats. Until he, like, decides to wrath. Because I know he has one in his hand. I'm almost, it's almost certain. I'm almost certain he has a wrath in his hand. The page. This thing could have just killed my opponent. <laughs> I just want to find a naturalize. Probably just takes it, yeah. No reason not to take it here. He seems to be in a good spot. He only has two cards in his hand, though. Like, I'm just waiting for, like, Factor Fiction or something. Yeah. All removal or no removal. Yeah. He takes. I got one card left, so I don't know what his last card is. He might just take this hand. I think this was a decent split. Okay, he actually took the Wrath hand. You can't actually kill the whole Tag Brawler this turn right now. Now you can untap and just kill it. I think he's thinking about just wrathing now. But if I draw like a Latin Helion, he dies. He just dies into my hand. Now he's gonna cruise? Okay. Look, his last card was probably Treasure Cruise. Uh, the card he kept. But the card that was in his hand before that Factor Fiction. Man, this, this Scab Clan has done so much not damage. So much just shadow damage. Hitherling. Pretty greedy Hitherling if this is. Approach of the Second Sun. Okay. That's, uh, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's what we call inevitability. Radiant Flames, um, this guy. I know he has another Wrath in his hand, at the very least. Okay. Very like low risk, like just keep around. All the lands.
At least I can think I'm going to play for game three. I already know this game's over. Um, well, I could pummel him. I could pummel him. Actually, okay, this game's not over. He has to counter this. He has to counter this. I can't actually stop a counter spell. He can't let me resolve this, that's for sure. Okay. He gets to scry anything on the bottom. Just get them one uh, card closer to uh, the approach. Is it? All right. <laughs> the second sun has been has has a, has arrived. I guess. Um. Let's just run it back. It's kind of like petered out a little bit. That scab clan was like doing so much work, but it had shadow. The damage was prevented. I drew all three of them too. It's just really good. Oh, all again. Oh, that's a better hand. I'll keep. It doesn't matter. I just want to shuffle my deck. Uh, I'm gonna get a mountain actually, so I can cast a scab clan. I almost, ca I almost, I almost got a forest there. My first instinct was to get a forest. So I was like, no oh, mountain. I have more of a chance to draw more forest. I mean, I don't know why I didn't cast a Helium there. <laughs> Actually, not sure why I didn't cast a Helium there. <laughs> I was thinking to myself about like a lot of things, and I just didn't do anything. I just kind of like they used to draw. I guess I want to keep a Ranger's Guile. I think that was my like kind of like half reasoning. And I drew another Mountain, so it kind of confused. My brain just kind of like lapsed a second. Let him counter this, it's fine. I don't think he's playing any parallax waves, honestly. I'm not actually gonna use any other my green sources until I need to. I absolutely have to. Protect the queen at this point. Name of the game. I'm gonna go for the temporal isolation right now. That way, I guess he can just burst lightning if he needs to. It lets me a tap and try to find another green source. Uh, he's a helix in his hand. Okay, let's uh, counter, counter this. Okay. Getting close. 
I can only just withstand death boats to encounter the second wrath effect he has in his hand. Helix is a, a little annoying. I know he has, because he tried to tap four. He's going to gain three. That's the problem. The real problem is he just gains three life. Or four life, rather. But the, the last turn just didn't do anything. Okay, do another counter spell. I I'm all down to one energy too though. Um, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this now. I still have a creature on the field. Cause now like a wrath just kills it, and that's like. Gonna just has the wrath here. Oh, okay. Because I'm gonna get in here. Out of energy, doesn't matter at this point. Okay. I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna make him cast five mana to kill my two drop. Unless he has an approach. If it goes like land approach, it's pretty good. Uh <laughs> Wish I had flames of the blood hand in my deck. What if he just doesn't have it? No, he has an approach. No way he doesn't have an approach. I need to draw a second green source. Um, I'm trying to think of like what's the best approach here. I think I just like get in my damage, then just top deck the haste creature. Like, concede this to, like, whatever, like, damage spell he has. Can't burn my deck. Or if it's a second approach, I die. If he's a second approach, I'm just dead. Yeah, I'm still in this. For now. I need to win this as a top 8. But it's close. It's gonna get really close. Well, let's cast approach the second sun. So the inevitability is there. I need to kill him in like a couple of turns. I have like probably three. Eight. Okay. The digs. I need to draw a haste creature. Or I need to not gain life. Or like, and she needs to live. This guy just kind of lives, I win, obviously. He has a wrath. Or Aetherling, okay. So any haste creature will win the game here. Not a haste creature. Um, it's actually kind of good. It gives me energy. Okay. Time for the cheese. He's just gonna try to trade, I guess. There's no way he like pump like he blinks. He can't blink. So he ha he can only trade. Um I think I'm just dead in a turn. Yeah, he doesn't have any mana. I forgot about that. We'll just trade. I think I'm just dead. Because I think he's going to draw the approach in, like, now or the next turn. Three life is pretty good. Yeah, I think I'm dead. If trample, yeah, but it, it was, like, 5-4.
It was a four five to my five four. Sorry about that. My draw kind of petered out just a little bit. He's gonna counter this. Oh, he's counters a dig. Oh, now I'm dead. I think that was like six because he anticipated. Now he's dissolved once. Ah, approach. Great. <laughs> it's very like it's very saddening when you're at twenty and you die. <laughs> in like in no damage sort of way, but you know that's that's approach of the second son for you.